This video is about my sleeping bag that I use during the winter time. And I don't want to call it the best budget sleeping bag because I've tried exactly maybe three sleeping bags over the course of my life for winter backpacking. Um, but it certainly, after doing some research on the internet, this is one that I settled on. It is from Teton and it is called the, I wrote it on my hand, the Altos S. The S is for synthetic. They also make one with down and it's rated at zero degrees. Now, again, if, obviously if you know anything about sleeping bag ratings, they're a little tough to just, uh, they're a little tough to process. So while this is rated at zero degrees, you better not take it out by itself for zero degree night and expect to do just fine. Although I'm sure there's gonna be somebody that leaves a comment that says they did and they were okay. Um, this bag right here, I just used it on a uh, two days ago. It got down, it was below 10 degrees. I don't know, maybe it was like eight degrees or so. Um, I wore it with some base layer. I was sleeping with some base layers and I also had it inside of a bivy. And so that allowed me to do just fine. Uh, at three o'clock in the morning, I woke up just a little bit cold. It wasn't really like cold. It was just, you know, kind of on the edge there of uh, being a little chilly. And I was sleeping with the bivy open. And what I did at three in the morning is I just threw the bivy over me. Um, I don't even think I zippered up the bivy. I just threw it on top of me, uh, put on my down puffy underneath it. I just have a very cheap, thin down puffy. And that kept me comfortable for another couple hours until I woke up and left. So the I have no complaints about it so far. Um, the zippers all seem good. Uh, the, the insulation is in the right parts. Um, my only complaint complaint is that for me, for whatever reason, I cannot seem to ever zip it up past the draft tube. And so once I zipper it up, once I'm inside, it struggles and it, it takes me a while to get it actually past the draft tube. Maybe that's just my lack of coordination. The other thing, I was actually going to have a complaint about this uh, on the video. I have an issue when I pull the mummy, you know, like the top of the mummy bag tight around my face. I always struggle with that when I sleep in it. And so I just looked at it to see like exactly what was wrong with how they designed it so I can talk about it in the video. And I just realized that I have been pulling the drawstring wrong every time I've used it. You know, I, I never do it during the daylight, it's only at night. And so uh, I guess at night I'm always kind of fumbling, not really knowing exactly how to do it. And now that I could see exactly how I'm supposed to pull it tight, there will not be an issue with that in the future. Um, it packs down uh, to a reasonable size. I'm not sure exactly how big that is, but if you were gonna put it in a stuff bag, it would be about that big, kind of like a good size rugby ball or so. Um, I don't use a stuff sack. I just stuff it into my sleeping bag. Uh, the other thing too that is I think the most impressive thing about it is that without the stuff sack, it's 2.9 pounds. And for 2.9 pound sleeping bag that's rated to zero degrees that cost $110, I think that's a pretty good deal.